In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty, Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Set out for the great city of Nineveh and announce to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk announcing. Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast, and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, laid aside his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in the ashes. Then he had this proclaimed throughout Nineveh by decree of the king and his nobles. Neither man nor beast, neither cattle nor sheep shall taste anything. They shall not eat, nor shall they drink water. Man and beast shall be covered with sackcloth and called loudly to God. Every man shall turn from his evil way and from the violence he has in hand. Who knows, God may relent and forgive and withhold his blazing wrath so that we shall not perish. When God saw by their actions how they had turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Be Our response, if you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths I cry out to you, O Lord, Hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Let Israel wait for the Lord, for with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? <clears throat> Alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing, and Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Sometimes we hear this gospel as a difference between the, 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 the disciple who is actively working and the disciple who is praying and resting. However, it was explained to me recently that another, really the way to read this is, the, is that Mary is that, um, the disciple who is um, really serious about following Jesus Martha is trying to be serious, but Martha is letting other things get in the way of her pursuit of the gospel. And Martha is also worried about Mary, because if Mary goes down this path of continuing to sit in Jesus' presence, then Mary will not fit into the society in which they live, because women didn't do what Mary was doing. Okay? Women didn't follow Jesus. The, the Gospel of Luke is known for singling out women who are following Jesus or singling out women who are supporting his ministry and also singling out the marginalized and the oppressed. So, for example, yesterday we heard the Gospel of the Good Samaritan also from the Gospel of Luke about somebody who's on the margins who does something uh, remarkable in the parable. So Mary is doing something remarkable, but also doing something that could get her into trouble with, with the authorities by following Jesus. These, these gospel passages also come as Jesus is coming closer and closer to Jerusalem. Bethany is known to be near Jerusalem. This is why Jesus visits Bethany, because he's on his way to Jerusalem. He visits Jerusalem in his lifetime. He's on his way to Jerusalem to suffer and die, where Jesus himself, of course, will get into trouble. And Mary is following him down this path of being, quote-unquote, in trouble in a worldly, in a material sense, in a worldly sense, um, but really she is drawing closer and closer to God. And we are called to, to join ourselves to Jesus and, and, his, and his cross each day as well. Let us pray for our Holy Father Francis, for all religious sisters and brothers and missionaries, we pray. That the Holy Spirit may remove all burdens and obstacles from those who find it difficult to see God's goodness and grace, we pray. For all, um, for the protection and the sanctity of life at all stages, for unborn children, for those who suffer from illness later in life, for their protection of their lives, we pray. For the eternal rest of Gonzalo Velez, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, we are Heavenly Father, hear these prayers and those we keep in our hearts through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Lourdes, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant us, almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended.